So here he is. He just keeps moving. I was trying to get more pictures, but I'm pretty sure I got it. I was trying to move him around with the brush, but he decided to climb on me. And you guys know that I'm not big on handling tarantulas, but... <laughs> I, need really to take a, I need to take my camera, I need both hands. Ay, ay, ay. All right, mister. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Spider Cafe, a place for creepy curly talk and micro photography. Today we're gonna do a quick rehouse. Um, one of our dwarf tarantulas uh, molted and he got a little bit bigger. Uh, actually, right now he's around one inch. This is a Serio Cosmos Elegance. It's a gorgeous tarantula that has a little heart shaped uh, markings on its abdomen. And we are very happy that it's finally the size where we can actually see it and it's not even freaking out, it spends a lot of time outside and it, this just happened and normally I would wait until the weekend with the rehouse but since he's been so chipper and running all over the place we're just gonna do it now and maybe tomorrow we can already feed him in a new enclosure and he's gonna get a lot more space at this size these guys still borrow but they also like to web up a little bit around so I have some sticks around here and we will see how much webbing up he's doing and how much borrowing he's doing if he's gonna do too much webbing up and a lot less borrowing then you know we can switch the enclosure around and maybe uh, take some of the substrate out and add some some more twigs but for now I think it should be sufficient you know on both uh, on both sides he's been doing a lot of borrowing he goes all the way down in this one already and a little bit about their care before we rehouse him just so you guys uh, know how to care for them because I think we can do it at this point since he's basically almost sub-adult because I can already see these hooks on his legs um, they're starting to form so he's not even gonna get much bigger the females get a lot bigger but he is almost at his full size he might get one or two more molts and uh, a little bummed out that he's a male but what can you do you know we're gonna hopefully we can find him a female because we I wouldn't mind actually um, trying to breed these guys because they're tiny you know they kind of like easy I feel like they would be a really easy uh, introduction into breeding tarantulas but a little bit about their care um, when you order these guys you're probably gonna get size of what they call like 1 8 or like 1 16 of an inch which is basically size of an ant it's like 2-3 millimeters uh, we received ours in a while like this size right now there is a dead tiger beetle that we found some uh, you know on a trail and uh, uh, so you know don't pay attention to that, that tiger beetle. We found it there. <laughs> so I received it in a while like this with a little bit of a substrate, like three quarters of a substrate, and it was just fine in it. We didn't see it at all. And it got slightly bigger. We moved it into one of these immediately. And this is the Jamie's Tarantula uh, enclosure again. And you know, these are uh, fairly affordable and they have good ventilation and easy access. So I liked it, you know, he's, he was in it the whole time. These guys like it humid, so keep the substrate humid at all times. Uh, I mean, humid damp, the sub, keep the sub substrate damp at all times. And you can do it easily by like, basically, you know, like I showed in some of our other videos, but I have a little syringe, you know, and I just pop it in there and put some, put some water in it with a little bit of a pressure, it gets all the way down to the bottom. So they do like it then. Uh, most likely you won't see uh, your spider for until it gets to this size, until it gets basically adult. Because this is literally the uh, first few times we've seen him like being outside. He's not even freaked out right now, he's still outside. But before that we would just see it when we feed it, you know, and that would be the only time. Once they get to a little bit bigger size, when you put this in, into this size of an enclosure, you can start adding some twigs for them to web up on the top. As far as food goes, uh, they are really good hunters. They can actually tackle prey almost the size of themselves. I wouldn't try it with anything like crickets, but if you have like, we actually sometimes fed it flies or we sometimes fed it like a, uh, dubias and they can really tackle uh, prey and they are really good hunters, really good eaters. And um, so yeah, I think that's about it when it comes to their care. Uh, pretty hardy, pretty easy, give it a lot of substrate, keep them damp, uh, feed them and they'll grow. So let's get to the rehouse, alright? Alright guys, so let's see if he freaks out when we open it. No, not yet. So there you can see him. He's really skinny because like I said he molted. 
and I don't know if he wants to even eat because he's been kind of like he seemed really unhappy in there. That's why we're doing the rehouse on Tuesday instead. Like normally we would just do it on a weekend, but I'm just like, I'm having a hard time watching this guy because he's like, seems so unhappy. He just wants to get out of there. And I don't think that's his search for a female yet. Uh, I think he just, I don't know. He doesn't seem to be happy there. So we're gonna make him happy. One thing that I really like to do guys is I um, made a little, you can really see it, but there is a little pre-built borough for him. So he can basically go and hide almost immediately. There's also tons of springtails in here because this, you know, like I said, I'm gonna keep it damp. And uh, so, yeah, let's see if we can actually get him out on the substrate so we can take some pictures of him. Let's see if he's gonna go hide or if he's gonna come out. Okay, Papos. You're gonna show us your moves. So I'm just slightly touching his feet and hoping to get a little reaction. That is not a bolt. Let's see if we can just. There he is. Beautiful, beautiful spider. So it's my turn. So this was probably the cutest tarantula rehouse ever. So and it was probably one of the easiest ones. So I think as long as you don't push these little spiders too much, you just barely touch them. They just kind of move and they don't start bolting too much. But you know, you never really know. You know, it's uh, sometimes they just bolt. And um, you know, I don't really handle our tarantulas, but you saw like that was just accidental. And you know, what could I do? It was too cute. Too cute. So what can I do? You know, I'm also just a human. So I'm just totally joking. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about uh, these little spiders, these little dwarf tarantulas, which are some of the smallest tarantulas out there, you know, leave your questions down in comments. Remember to subscribe, hit the notifications button, hit the like button if you like this video, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. All right, ciao.